The Stafford Speedway Weekly Highlights are presented by Pioneer Cannabis Company. Green flag is out, we're underway. And Cormier will take the lead into turn number one as Cormier in that number 14's got him covered by Carlink going out of turn two. Last week's winner will not repeat tonight. The 22 you see on the screen, Gary Patnode. We saw the smoke billowing from the car during qualifying. It was still smoking a little bit here on the track. On the two starts we've had so far tonight has been rock solid. Jay Clement, man, he's getting uh, almost got spun out going into turn number one with a 28 car running his tail. Look at this battle. It's chaos here in the limited late models. One car into the wall, and it is Jay Clement. Meanwhile, your point leader, Rich Hammond's involved. Matt Clement is involved, as is one of the Jensik, Ari Jensik in the 17 car. Four cars in all involved in turn number two. Rich Hammond trying to get the inside of Devin Jensik. Good battle for the lead. Here comes Alexandra Fern. Could not make it work, Scapini too good. There's a tap to the bumper though. Alexandra Fern rolls up to the bottom there. Door handle to door handle on the back straightaway. Cormier drops to the second spot outside of Fern. Fern takes over the lead. Number 12 car goes to the point. Rich Hammond trying to get the inside of Devin Jensek. Good battle for the lead. Here comes Alexandra Fern. Could not make it work, Scapini too good. There's a tap to the bumper though. Alexandra Fern rolls up to the bottom there. Door handle to door handle on the back straightaway. Cormier drops to the second spot outside of Fern. Fern takes over the lead. Number 12 car goes to the point. Alexandra Fern leading the way off turn number four. Nine laps to go. Rich Hammond out of shape, the championship point leader. Half a lap to go. Jeremy Lavoie now working the inside lane. Final chance to go for the win tonight. Alexandra Fern out in front, but here comes Jeremy Lavoie. Lavoie trying to the inside. Classic limited late model action. Fern will take the win. What a finish. Alexandra Fern had to fend all of them off. Green flags out. We're street stock racing. And it's Chris Daniel Chuck down to the bottom. The white, purple, and black number 94 to lead him, but Tyler Trott up top, the black number 80, keeps it even through turns one and two. Tyler Trott looking strong on the outside, but he's got uh, Daniel Chuck to the inside. He's not going away as they go into turn number three. Marvin Mickler is there in the 71 to the bottom, inside lane as they come up off turn number four. The entire field stacked up two by two on the opening circuit. Full contact, door handle to door handle, street stock racing right here at Stafford Motor Speedway. Good battle up front. Tyler Trotz under attack. Here comes the number nine of Robert Sterk. Bobby Sterk the third trying to get to the inside of Tyler Trot. A little bit of contact when they came off turn four that time. Back into turn number one. Sterk all the way down towards the grass. Still on the pavement but using every bit of racetrack. Goes to the inside midway down the backstretch. As those two go at it, here comes Downey in the 42 and the 11. New leader. Here he is, car number nine. Out in front, Sterk to the race lead. Off the turn though, the race leader coming to the checkers. It is a car number nine, Bobby Sterk the third. He will win with a wiggle out of turn number four. Across the line in second, Tyler Trott will finish in the runner up spot. Travis Downing came home third. We're underway in the late models. Looks like the 39 has gone to the back of the pack, so Vericchio Jr. decides to go to the rear up front. We're side by side for the lead. Inside lane, Chris Meyer outside. Paul Aroot putting the number 82 bumper out in front. He leads the way three wide. Here comes Daryl Keene to the bottom in turn three. Daryl Keene to the inside of the 99 of Chris Meyer. Meyer to the uh, middle of this sandwich out of turn three. Off turn number four, it's Chris Meyer who is going to lead lap number one. Mola trying to get the job done. We got trouble. Race lead. Here comes Daryl Keene down to the bottom. Finds racing room to the inside. Turn number three, the 79, Daryl Keene going for the top spot. Daryl Keene with a rocket ship. He's your new leader. The live wire takes over second spot, and that is Chris Meyer. In third, Ooh. Andrew Moeller. One car, all kinds of got crossed up there on the front straightaway. That's a 43 of Andrew Duran. He was trying to spin off turn number four and nearly finished the job in turn one. Keane with the advantage in turn three. Keane doing a fine job as he still has the lead. Coming into turn number four, a little love tap there from the number 97 team. Adam Gray to the bottom, but he loses a nose off the turn. This time he's got room though. Four to go back in turn one. Gray gets to the quarter panel of the 79. It's side by side out of turn two. Still give the advantage to Daryl Keane. Straight even across, 97, <laughs> Gray in the bottom, 79, Keane up top, half a car out in front, it's Adam Gray. Swings it off turn number four. Checkered flag is in the air and Adam Gray wins again at Stafford. Five feature wins for 2022 for veteran driver Adam Gray.
it's SK Light Modified Action here at Stafford. Cassandra Cole in the 09 on the bottom. She is the race leader as we get underway. Jason Chapman in the 44 up top, but it's Cassandra Cole who takes the lead in turn two. Cassandra Cole stuck to the high groove. Still doing a good job, though. She's running second. 0-2 of Fuller in third. And right now in fourth, it is uh, make that Derek Devis in the 56 car. Tyler Chapman right there in the 41. Norm Sears in the 8, running the outside lane. Cassandra Cole doing a nice job hanging tough up top while everybody else runs the bottom. Jason Chapman in the race lead. Boy, another tough break for Josh Carey. Steering wheel comes off of that number 69 car. We'll have to see if the window net comes down, but you can see that front right tire is cocked the wrong way. And yes, indeed, Joe, the window net does come down. Back across the stripe, though, Derek Devitz is putting the heat on Jason Chapman up front. Chapman misses turn number one, and Devis goes right underneath and takes the easy lead. Haley De uh, DeSalners off turn number four, who is spun down to the inside of the racetrack. See if we can get that car fired once again. Devis on the bottom of the 56, draws even. Jason Chapman's got that inside row rocking and rolling. He's trying to pull up to the back of the 56 of Derek Devis, but look at the number eight car. Norm Sears right there in third. Two by two by two through the entire field with six laps to go, and Tyler Chapman takes sole possession of the race lead. Absolute power move there for Tyler Chapman. Tyler Chapman looking for the checkered flag off turn number four. He will win the SK Light Modified Feature Event. Derek Devis, he'll take home second in car number 56 with Norm Sears, Alexander Pearl, and J Jason Chapman rounding out your top five. Keith Rocco on the bottom lane. He'll bring the field around as the double greens are out and we're underway in the SK Modified. Side by side, Daniel Wesson to the outside. Keith Rocco, the M&M Creations machine. He's on top and in the lead out of turn number two. They charge down the back straightaway. Outside line, it's Daniel Wesson. Right behind him is Troy Talman. Bottom lane, it's Keith Rocco, followed by Jonathan Puglio. We got Troll, oh, big, big time crash in turn number three. One car that's jacked up. That's the 16 of Dylan Kopech. In the air, Steven Kopchik is involved. Championship contender, he's second right now, Kurt Brainerd. He's knocked the left front off of that automobile, and the other car that's involved is the 08 of Nicholas Halkowitz. Hammer down with that right foot, looks in the rear view mirror, and Jonathan Puglio pushes him into turn one. Daniel Wesson drifts up a little bit high, but he's got some horsepower out of turn number two. Tries to draw even with Keith Rocco. Wesson, though, crosses over, gets in the tire tracks of Rocco and follows him through turn three. That's a three against the 11, best, one of the best battles on the speedway. 11 is Di Matteo, pulls inside, three is Talman, outside two oh. blue cars, they come together, Talman goes spinning off turn four. We got ourselves a caution flag and it's a nail biter there as Talman almost got clocked. Keith Rocco with a four car length advantage coming into turn number four as your leader. Off turn number four, double checkers and Keith Rocco has done it. He's got the monkey off his back, he has won the SK Modified feature.